Today, I thought I would do a quick video for you guys just to talk through the top five apps that I use every single day, what I use them for, why I think they're so important, and why I think all of you guys should be using them too. I absolutely live and die by this app. I think it's absolutely brilliant. If you can learn to use both, then genuinely, whatever line of work you're in, you will be a force to be reckoned with. If for 10 years, if you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? So this is what we're using now to plan my YouTube videos, and it has just become possibly one of the most important pieces of software that I use on a daily basis. So first things first, Slack. Slack is so, so, so important. Everyone at Gymshark uses it, and it's our internal messaging service. At times like this during coronavirus, Slack has become even more important. But despite that, having offices around the world and working with so many different people, Slack is just huge for our business, and it just really, really helps to keep everyone in touch, regardless of where they are in the world, where they are in the office whatever's going on. It's great for both direct messages, um, we also have channels and so on. We have a Gymshark channel where everyone in Gymshark's involved. Each department will have their own channels, we'll have channels around different projects. You'll hear me talk a lot about communication and how important communication is in a business and Slack really, really helps us with that. So to put things in perspective, I quickly jumped on our analytics with Slack and Gymshark has sent almost 700,000 Slacks within the company in the last month alone. Show you my slacks. This is my conversation with James. I've just been sending in some tests. Test, 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 test. test. So I'll give you an example. We have a Gymshark overall channel. So here you go. We've got everyone in Gymshark in this channel. And it's really good because this is where all of our sort of company-wide announcements will go. So everyone can keep up to date. At the moment, you can see, we have actually converted a part of our office into a 3D printing studio. And we are printing things such as visors and bands for the NHS. This is just great and again it keeps everyone in the loop with what's going on around the world. This is an interesting video. Do you ever feel like this at work? <laughs> so this is sort of like an internal vid that's gone live to everyone that we're offering uh, a new sort of internal system called Spoke. This is like a little machine learning thing that sits within Slack. So I could say, for example, if we're in the office, what's the food menu at Refuel like today? And it will respond with the menu. So yeah, Slack's super cool. It's a great internal messaging system, but also having things like Spoke built in is really, really useful as well. So I think it's a really flexible piece of software. It's great and it's perfect as an internal messenger and it really ties Gymshark together. So application number two that I want to talk about is the app that I talked about in my last video and it's the Things app. I absolutely live and die by this app. I think it's absolutely brilliant. It's a super simple app and I find it incredible for holding myself accountable. And throughout the day at Gymshark, I'll have a bunch of varied meetings. I'll constantly come out of meetings with different actions and different things to do. And it could be things that I need to follow up on. It could be people that I need to speak to. There's this one saying that really, really inspires me. Jordan Peterson, who I am a massive fan of, says, if for 10 years you didn't avoid doing what you knew you needed to do, what would you be like? And I think that is so true. And I think the Things app is brilliant for holding yourself accountable for the things that you need to do, but more importantly, the things that you don't want to do. Genuinely, I've been doing that now for, I'd say probably all in all two years, and it has allowed me to learn and grow more quickly than I ever have in my life. So I would recommend this. I've created a quick test area here. So what I've got here is a thing to do that you need to do here. You can add notes in, but if you want, you can add different things that you need to do within that. You can also add deadlines on, which is really, really important. Genuinely, it's a super, super simple app. It's just so valuable for me. And I'm just trying to hold myself accountable to doing the things that I need to do and the things that I don't want to do. So the next piece of software that I'm going to talk to you about is Photoshop. So I think as a creative, it's an absolute must. I think anyone that's in any creative field needs to learn Photoshop. And countless times have I talked about Photoshop being one of the most important tools and most important pieces of software that I have used to grow Gymshark. It's so important that you buy people into your ideas, into your visions, whether it's a product or a brand campaign or a design or a logo. And the way that I've always tried to buy people into ideas has been using Photoshop. But genuinely, once you learn a few basic tools, it's quite easy, it's quite intuitive. And nowadays on YouTube, there are so many different uh, tutorials on how to use Photoshop. 
Photoshop definitely has the highest barriers to entry in terms of using it and mastering it of all the pieces of software, of all the apps that are on this list. But I promise you the reward for learning to use Photoshop is so, so vast and it's so, so great. It can be used to create logos. It can be used to edit imagery and pictures for thumbnails, as myself and James still do. You can use it for designing products. It doesn't need to be super clean and crisp. The main thing is just about how you get that message across. Photoshop is really easy just to open quickly, drop a design in, do some sort of quick and dirty edit, and you can get the idea across really, really easily once you know how to use it. If you're wanting to do well in a business, I would absolutely advise getting used to using Photoshop as quickly as possible. I think it is one of the most powerful tools you can have in your arsenal. Next up is Microsoft Excel. Similar to Photoshop, I feel like the, the, the abilities of Excel are just so, so vast. However, I think a basic understanding of Excel is absolutely vital. I'm a firm believer that true creativity can happen at any moment, but if you wanna be creative time and time again over a prolonged period of time, I think that needs to be informed with data. When you're working with data, Excel is such a powerful piece of software and I use it every single day. If you wanna truly understand your business, you need to understand the numbers behind it and the underlying trends. And that could be around staff numbers, staff turnover, revenue, profit, stock, all of these things are numbers. And the best way of presenting those numbers generally is in Excel. So I'll give you an example. In my particular role, we have a Excel document, which is sort of our Bible. And every single day, it has the revenue that we've done. It has these overarching marketing spend for that day, week, month, or year. And then I can see it uh, broken down by channel, so I can check is our marketing spend at a reasonable level versus our sales number? How much of that marketing spend have we gone on a more conversion focused tact? And how much of that spend is on a more brand focused tact? I can see what the CPMs are. I can see what the average cost per click is. It's a lot of information that can just be condensed and controlled and presented in an incredibly user friendly way using Excel. If you can learn to use both Excel and Photoshop really, really well, then genuinely whatever line of work you're in, you will be a force to be reckoned with. And I think that if you can pull those two things together, as we talk about at Gymshark, art and science, truly special things happen when those two things meet. You will be able to not only buy people into ideas, but you'll be able to back it up with numbers. And that's genuinely so powerful. So the fifth and final piece of software that I want to talk to you about is an app called Notion. I absolutely fell in love with Notion a few weeks ago. I've been using it ever since we started working from home and it has just become possibly one of the most important pieces of software that I use on a daily basis. I am absolutely obsessed with it and it is currently spreading across the Gymshark team like wildfire. So a huge shout out because I've only just recently found out the Notion even exists and I found that out on a guy called Ali Abdal's YouTube channel and as soon as I saw it I knew this would be a really really awesome tool for me to use on a daily basis. As soon as I downloaded and started using Notion it reminded me a lot of WordPress so anyone that worked on WordPress or has done will understand exactly how Notion works. It's like having and I think Ali described it as a life OS or a second brain and it is it is exactly that. Rather than try and explain it, I'll show you. So this is what we're using now to plan my YouTube videos. We've got like a what we call a video tracker and it's just a table where we've got a bunch of different ideas. If I look over here, we've got inspiration for thumbnails, video inspiration, video ideas, channel assets, and things like that. But for this video, for example, James has put a load of stuff in here. So like a thumbnail example, the settings even that I need to use on the camera, B-rolls and shots that I need to get, when I need to record it. And then I filled in sort of the top five apps. And so if I go into my notion, so I've got like a life dash here. So I've got like a bunch of daily reminders. So I've started journaling every day. So I write a morning journal and an evening journal based on Benjamin Franklin from Book of Virtues, which I found really cool. So basically here, I've got a bunch of different sort of areas for my notes, the different parts of the business where, is where I spend a lot of time. So I'll have like a home page for each one. I go into GTM Chiefs. This is sort of like a home page, And then within this, I've got sort of like reminders. And then equally I can go in here and I've got a bunch of different notes. So think of that as like the home page for that particular meeting. Cobra, I talked about the Cobra meetings that we're doing a lot at the moment. If I'm learning, I've got like a learn something new section here, which is really cool. Gymshark USA, so I've got all my USA based notes here, but then I've also got information on the office. So I can jump in here and I can see designs. I've got like a general note dump. So this is a linked database. So if I, for example, do a new test note. Let's pretend this is in a board meeting. I can tag it as board meeting. And then later on, if I want to refer to our board meeting notes, my test note 
has appeared. It's, a, it's, a, it's an amazing piece of software. Me and James are loving it because you can sort of collaborate as well uh, at the same time. Oh, this is great as well. So what I've found is I've been reading quite a lot in the last few years, but I haven't actually been commenting down what I'm reading. So what I've done here is I've got a media list and as I'm reading books, I'm actually writing down what I'm learning from them. So I've got finished, I've got a few that I'm reading and listening to. I can score them, tag what area they're in. But I can talk about and write to myself the things that I've learned from that particular book, which is really, really valuable and useful in terms of really allowing it to sort of stick in my mind. So yeah, Notion is an incredibly powerful piece of software. I use it as my go-to note-taking app. I use it to hold myself accountable on long-term aspirations, but I also use it as like a filing system for all of my notes. It's super valuable, and between Notion and Things, those are the two apps that hold me the most accountable. Things on a short-term basis and Notion on a long-term basis. So a couple more honorable mentions. Microsoft Outlook, emails, obviously a massively, massively powerful tool. Email is still used every single day, even though I am much more of a fan of Slack. I'm still using email a lot, so it's something that I wanted to mention, but I see it as more of a web tool, even though I do use the different apps. So I just wanted to mention that to you guys. And the last two sort of honorable mentions that I wanted to make was Google Analytics is an extremely powerful tool for understanding the traffic that hits your website. It's just incredible. You can see traffic in real time. You can see where the traffic's coming from. You can understand bounce rates, time spent on websites, and it really allows you to optimize that online experience for people that are accessing your website. Finally, as well, an honorable mention to Shopify. I absolutely adore the Shopify company. All the guys that work there are absolutely incredible. We wanna focus on our products, on our app, and on things like that. We don't want to be constantly engineering a website. Shopify allows us to do that. It means we would have to have hundreds of developers to manage a website like ours, and I genuinely don't think there is a system as intuitive, as easy to use, as cost-effective, and that is managed as well as Shopify. So that is the top five apps that I use. Slack, Things, Photoshop, Excel, and Notion. All incredible apps, all for very different reasons, but they really do help me do what I need to do every single day. They keep me creative, they keep me accountable from a numbers perspective, they keep me accountable from a short-term things to do perspective and a long-term things to do perspective. So anyone that's working in a business, running a business, or just wants to work on improving themselves and growing, developing and learning, I would recommend all of these different applications. They're genuinely brilliant and they help me so, so much.